Town raise an appropriate sum of $35,000 to help defray the costs of carrying out repairs and maintenance to the town clock. I so move Article 44 as written. Second. Four dollars and seventeen cents. For life house. I'm sorry, who second to? I did. And I have ready for a make a comment when you're ready, Madam Chairman. I'm sorry? I have a comment to discuss. All right, go ahead. If you want me to while you're writing that stuff down. Yep. As I recall, and this is probably 15 years ago, give or take a year or two, uh, they brought forward the idea of preserving the old clock. And I think Mr. Weber was fundamentally involved with that. And then they tried to decide where to put it. And on and on, I struck out all these years for various reasons. I am under the impression, from my memory, that this was going to be funded externally by donations, period. I don't remember anybody ever broaching for money until this one article that I can recall, unless I missed something, which is likely. But I just shouldn't be funded the way it's always been funded, from external sources. There was a Warren article a couple of years ago. Last year. Last year. That's what it said at school. Well, I have Was a couple of forty-five thousand or something. Yeah, I've got a question here. That was here. to build the I'm looking at foundation that and so forth. Tim paraphrased the Warren article. It says such funds raised by this article to be used along with privately raised funds that are currently in the town's possession. Do we know how much is in the town's possession currently? No. Is there the is there anything in the town's possession? Oh, there's money. There is, oh, yeah. there is there money. Is. And I want to say in the hundred thousand range, but I'd have to go check. I can tell you tomorrow night if you'd like, but I don't have that number tonight. There is definitely money that has come in through private donations. They had a fundraiser with town or bricks. They yeah, sold bricks. Our, our department sold bricks. Yes. Yeah. So the money came into our department. And then last year there was a Warren article. Last year it didn't pass. But there was a Warren article on the ballot for 75000 We had this discussion last year, I believe, at the public hearing. Mm -hmm. um, and after that, at the beginning of 15, when after the article failed, we did receive, I think, I want to guess about 15000 in donations from private citizens that went into that. I think as a reflection of the article not passing, they did take in some money. Okay. But that was for the expenses of putting the tower, whatever you want to call it, over in front of Center School, though, right? I don't know. I just know it's a town clock fund and that we do have money in it. Okay. Here's the track. Oh, yeah. And it doesn't address the location. It's talking about constructing a tower, but do we still have the location at the Center School? In front of the Center School. Well, I'm not sure. No, I think it was. The Warren article failed, so. And this Warren isn't specific failed. to location. Do we still have an agreement with the school? I think it's still um, I think so. supposed or planned for the school. I think it's planned for there, but I'm not sure if there's been an actual encumbrance. Right. That's what, because I know, what, three or four years ago, we thought somebody was I thought somebody was negotiating between the school and town to put it in front of school. We never did make an agreement mm -hmm. then, probably. I believe it was last yeah. year. I haven't seen one in the school. Okay, thank you for that. Mm -hmm. I believe it was last year that the budget committee voted for the clock. Oh, yeah. Then we went to public hearing. We got a wonderful history lesson, I believe, from Fred Rice. I'm not sure about how this was always a private ethics, so it's very good. And the budget committee reopened the discussion, and we voted to not recommend. That is true. It was a ten-four not to recommend in yeah. last year's warrant. And Jerry, as my memory serves me, I think it was going to be at the Senate School, yeah. but I'm yeah. not sure that everybody I was. Think, I think the sentiment that. is that's where it's, it's going to be. Yes, it was at that time. We talked about so, it. As a matter but, of fact, last night at the school board meeting. Yeah. And Senate, the front of Senate School is where it was going to go. Still. Now I don't know if any warrant got to go put it there or not. There. Okay. I'm reclaiming my time, if I might. All right, just a minute. I want to just clarify <laughs> that. And there was. The woman did mention that. Amy, whatever her last name is, I don't know. It was about a hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollars already established, approximately a hundred thousand. And that's what I think is about a hundred. And that they are going, they're going to, their plan is to start the ball. Even if this warrant article fails, they're going to start. They're going to start using that hundred thousand constructing um, the twelve foot tower and the, the different different kind of. Post and beam uh, construction, like the old antique barns and stuff, 
uh, and uh, it's going to have front and back see-through glass so you can see right through it. And it's going to be a bell inside that doesn't ring like a normal bell, but a, a bong that hits it. Bong. I don't know if it's once every six hours or whatever. Because I said, well, I don't see how that bell can swing. <laughs> I'm reclaiming my time. Then. <laughs> sure. So I'm leaving it at that. I'm done. I don't want to beat this. Something. Thank you, Jerry. Tim? So last year when we voted in favor of the clock, we went to public hearing, and we, we listened to Mr. Fred Rice tell us the history lesson and why we should not have voted in favor of it. So we changed our vote to not be in favor of it. So we could vote in favor of it tonight and then listen to Fred tomorrow night give us the same history lesson. <laughs> or we can vote against it and have the other side come and tell us why we were wrong. <laughs> we suffer from lack of I, I, I say we tried it one way last year. Let's try it the other way this year. <laughs> Anyone else? I have no idea. Yeah. It would seem to me that we have a better use for taxpayer money. Let them fund it privately and do what they want. We don't need a town clock to, to tell us what time time it is. Concord has it on Main Street, a clock like that. All right. But I mean, we've got better uses for the money. Let them do it privately. Anyone else? Okay. All right. I don't... Yeah, I'll just chip in with um, last year's Warren article. Um, the proposed date of the construction was May 31st of 2013. <laughs> I don't understand. This would be a non lapsing account, so obviously that's why the money is still there. Mm -hmm. um, I think until mm -hmm. 2020, there is actually a date. Who put the money in? James. Do we? It's we. We matched. So we've already made a contribution. Right. Well, we voted last year. And we voted last out. year, yeah. ten to four, to not recommend. And the article failed. So. Right. right. Okay. Plus it's about twelve. Feet. All right. All those in favor. Phil. Well, the same well, the same floor as last year. I know. <laughs> so. so I get to listen to Fred again. Phil, Nick, <laughs> Scott. Fred Rice, that was. Jim. <laughs> Bob. All those opposed. Mike, Sonny, Brian. Eileen, Tim, Mike. Jerry? I'm abstaining. <laughs> Why are you abstaining? You all that like, all like talk. Wash. He he doesn't doesn't need need I tell you what I heard last night. Then okay. Is that five five one. Okay, so it fails. What's the count, Madam Chair? Let's see. I had Phil, Nick, Scott, Jim, and Bob. So that's five for it. Mike, Sonny, Brian, me. Tim and Mike, so five, six, and one. That sound right? It's okay with me. Five, six, one. Five, six, one. Jerry abstained. And Jerry abstained. He's the one. Same.